Welcome back. Big breaking news coming in. The Supreme Court has upheld the constitutional validity of Section 6A of the Citizenship Act. While Justice Pardiwala had given a dissenting judgment to hold Section 6A as unconstitutional in a 4-1 is to one majority, Justice Surya Kant has said, and I quote, that the state has the power to identify and report illegal migrants through not only the Foreigners Act, but also under other similar laws for the purpose as well. So a big one coming in right now from the Supreme Court, majority judgment uh, has upheld the validity of the constitutional provision. That's the news coming in. A five-judge bench headed by Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, has delivered the verdict. Uh, it's a big news coming in right now, uh, which states that uh, the validity of Section 6A of the Citizenship Act is constitutional, which means that the section which grants citizenship to immigrants who entered Assam before the 1st of January 1996. So that's the news coming in right now. Ananya is with us uh, for more on this. Ananya, this is a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court upholding the constitutional validity of Section 6A of the Citizenship Act. Well, definitely, it's a big, big, uh, you know, judgment coming in from the topmost court of the country. Remember that this is a bench headed by the Chief Justice of India, Dr. Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, also comprising Justice, uh, uh, you know, J.B. Pardewala, Manoj Mishra, M.M. Sundaresh, and Justice Surikant as well. So, very clearly, you know, there were three judgments uh, uh, for the benefit of our viewers. One was the opinion of the Chief Justice of India, though it was a four is to one verdict where only Justice uh, J.B. Pardewala has dissented, but there are three uh, opinions that were uh, given. One by the Chief Justice of India, Dr. Justice D.Y. Chandrachur himself. The second one was uh, by Justice Surekant on behalf of him, Justice uh, M.M. Sundaresh and Justice Manoj Mishra, while the dissenting opinion is by Justice J.B. Pardewala. While just, uh, the, the Chief Justice of India has upheld, in fact, the constitutional validity of Section 6A of the Citizenship Act or the Assam Accord, he also went on to say that this was the political solution to the problem of immigrants, uh, 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 you know, that were coming in from Bangladesh in Assam, is what the Chief Justice of India has said. Not only that, Justice J.B. Uh, uh, Justice Manoj Mishra, Justice uh, M.M. Sundaresh and Justice Surya Kant have stated that though uh, it was in fact uh, uh, the, the constitu uh, it was uh, in fact constitutionally valid, but those entering in fact the state after uh, in fact 19 March 1971 are illegal immigrants and the state has complete powers to actually uh, you know uh, deport them is what in fact uh, in fact the the, the the you know the the supreme court bench has gone on to say and very clearly justice pardiwala has dissented going on to say that you know the, uh, the section 6a might have be, uh, been in fact valid at that particular point of time when it was implemented but as of now with the flux of time the uh, the, the whole uh, provision is something that is not valid in law at this particular point of time. However, since it's a four is to one judgment, the majority opinion counts and the majority opinion upheld, in fact, uh, you know, Section 6A of the Citizenship Act or the Assam Accord. So very clearly, uh, the Supreme Court holding that though it was a political solution to the problem of migrants, but it is a constitutionally valid principle. Remember that uh, the petitioners had argued that this uh, Section 6A and the inclusion of these immigrants in, in fact, the state of Assam is something that is hindering uh, the demographic of that particular state and also hitting at the culture of, in fact, the state of Assam. But, uh, you know, the Supreme Court could not find a way with it and it stated that it is completely constitutionally valid. Okay. And hence, this So now that the parliament has the legislative to competence to enact this provision, Break this down for us, Ananya. Explain this to our viewers. How will this impact uh, the future of, uh, I think, about 40 lakh migrants in Assam? What happens from here on? Well, what happens from here on is that, you know, the NRC list would actually uh, be used. And those who had entered, in fact, the state of Assam after uh, 1971 is something uh, that they would be dealt with under the Foreigners Act, under various other provisions of the law and can be deported uh, as uh, per the Supreme Court of India. So very clearly, how will the government and the parliament would proceed on it with, it with it is something that we'll have to wait and watch for. But definitely, it's a landmark verdict that is coming in. And when the detailed judgment copy comes out, we'll get to know more and more reasons and what, in fact, the Supreme Court has suggested. Another important aspect uh, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, was highlighted in the, uh, in fact, uh, the opinion that was rendered by Justice Surekant for himself and Justice M.M. Sundaresh and Manoj Mishra was that though uh, this constitutional provision is in fact uh, constitutionally valid, but the implementation of the same has not happened very well on the ground and hence, mm. you know, he had uh, passed certain directions and stated that those 
who had entered, in fact, the state of Assam post-1971 could be considered as illegal immigrants is what, in fact, uh, the majority opinion has gone on to say in this regard. Absolutely. Uh, Preeti Priyadarshini also joins us. Preeti, a big news coming in from the Supreme Court, which has uh, declared Section 6A of the Citizenship Act 1955 to be constitutional. Uh, what does this actually mean in terms of, uh, you know, granting citizenship to immigrants and especially, you know, the rights of indigenous ASME citizens? You see, it all goes back to, to the signing of Assam Accord uh, and uh, there, it, there when it was decided that 1971 will be the base year for uh, giving citizenship uh, for the people living in Assam. And uh, it was challenged and today that the, just, the, the decision has come where they have uh, regarded as constitutional. Definitely it has a lot of importance in the state of Assam because uh, there was a lot of, there were a lot of uh, critical, uh, we can say a lot of criticizing, a lot of people criticized, they criticized this decision of 1971 as the base year when uh, the uh, all Assam Student Union signed the Assam Accord uh, in 1955 and uh, it was decided that 1971 uh, will be the base year. Now it has been stated that 40 lakh people have entered uh, the state of Assam as immigrants and now they will be getting the citizenship. So definitely it marks a lot of importance. Uh, but yes, again, uh, we have seen that in Assam Accord there are other clauses as well where the discussions are still going on. Uh, the other clauses of Assam Accord, however, again challenges 1971 one where uh, people of uh, uh, people who get citizenship under 1971 as Indian citizens again won't be getting the rights of indigenous Assamese as per the Assam Accord Clause 5 hmm. for which the discussions are going on. So a lot of people challenged but amongst them were the most important were uh, the Assam Sanmalita Mancha who, where they stated that 1951 should be the base year but uh, Assam student, all Assam student union who signed the Assam Accord with uh, the state of Assam and also with the, uh, the, the government of India uh, they challenged it and stated that this is a constitutional one and uh, uh, this should be considered constitutional. So uh, we have seen that uh, now it has come as a victory for the people who signed the Assam Accord. And Assam Accord was signed after a lot of sacrifices of a lot of yes. Assamese people, uh, which has now granted it a base. It, it, it has granted a, a guarantee to the Assam Accord, which was previously challenged by a lot of people stating that this is unconstitutional. And, and why was that challenge because you have the Chief Justice of India, uh, Mr. Chandrachud, who's also said in his judgment how the Assam Accord uh, was of absolute importance, was the only political solution to the problem of illegal uh, immigration and that's exactly why he's now upheld it. He's saying that it is constitutional. If you could give us some more context to this, Preeti, why was it challenged earlier? Uh, because see, uh, for the entire country, the base year was 1951 and for Assam, the base year was already considered to be 1971 when the Assam Accord was signed because a lot of a lot of Hindus were uh, have faced a lot of atrocities uh, at the, during, in, Bang, in Bangladesh uh, at that point of time where in humanitarian grounds, it was accepted by Assam, the people of Assam, particularly all Assam Students Union who agitated for long years mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the illegal immigration problem. They also uh, came to a solution with the government of Assam and government of uh, the Indian government at that point of time where it was decided that 1971 should be the base year even if we consider the atrocities being faced by the Hindus uh, in Bangladesh. So uh, it has been seen, it has been, con uh, most of the time it has been conflicted, it has been challenged and stated that 1951 should be the base year where a lot of, lot of people came out and stated that uh, Assam should not consider any more illegal immigrant after 1951. However, the Assam okay. Accord was clearly mentioning that uh, it should be 1971. So, uh, it, the, the entire process of uh, bringing some basis uh, to 1971 to consider 1971 was a long, uh, we can say a long, long fight of all Assam Students Union and the people who challenged 1971 as a base here for the for, for providing citizenship in Assam. I have in right. India, particularly who are staying in Assam. But again, I'll have to tell, tell you, Avantika, that the in Assam Accord Accord. There are other clauses as well, where in Clause 5, they are still in con in conversation with the government of Assam and there are uh, certain clauses. Okay. Uh, cert clause 5 particularly states that... Uh, That's an important one, Preeti. And, you know, thank you so much for giving us more context with the Supreme Court upholding the validity, validity of the 6A of Citizenship Act uh, 